Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Priyanka, but I like to call myself as Pretty Rainbow. So, to those who are new to the scene, thank you, thank you. Today, I'm going to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much first dropping by. I just want to talk about so much so positive feedback on that and uh, i'm really happy that you guys actually found that video helpful in case you guys are wondering what i am talking about i will link uh, that video up here and i will link that in my description box below i think you guys should watch that video it is a very healthy video okay so today what i am going to do right i am going to create a nice traditional but very easy and very elegant glam look and by the way uh really sorry for those noise because some work construction work is happening and i am filming again in daylight so i'm really excited for that so yeah uh basically in durga puja i wore a sari in ashtami uh, and uh, whatever makeup i was like uh, having and everything so you guys really really like that and yeah that is most tail he is just go around all over the video because this is his territory and i have occupied that so he is not really happy about that So, so many of you guys actually DM'd me uh, by saying that you guys want an uh, breakup for that makeup tutorial. So today I am just going to create that. So you want to uh, wear this thing for Diwali? It will be perfect for Diwali. Uh, first, we are going to tackle off our hair, and uh, for this hairstyle, you don't really need a like nice and washed hair. The greasier your hair is, the nice and slick it is going to look. So don't worry about that. So I'm just taking all of my hair and just going to make a nice and sleek pony. So if you have like really long hair, you don't really need to worry about this. This must be like very easy for you to do. But for those uh, short hair beauties, this is something uh, might come really handy for you. So I am just. Tie all the hair back on my head. This is just crunchy, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the hair. Don't worry about this thing because you can sleek it out with some gel or uh, some bobby pins. Like 
I cannot tell you how long lasting it is. So uh, I I basically sweat a lot on my face, especially in my mouth area. I have done a video how to make your uh, makeup like sweat proof and long lasting and everything. But this guy doesn't really need all those things. All you need to give is like some setting time, okay? And that's it. You are good to go. And it just gives you such a flawless finish. And this photograph's really really nice. So this uh, pad right here it costs for I think only. And this just gives you a very nice airbrush kind of finish. So you can get this uh, from their website. But I would suggest hey, that if you don't really know that your uh, right match, then you should go to their store. In Mumbai, they have a store in Bandra. I think they have a flagship store in Delhi and Bangalore as well. I'm not really sure if they have a store in Kolkata, but I would like to. Uh, search it for you guys, and if I can get the address and everything, I will uh, put in everything in my description box. So do check my description box. Okay, this video is going to be very informative. So just check out my description box for everything. So how to apply this? Okay, now I am going to mix this one with another shade. Now this is uh, I actually received uh, as like uh, a free gift from them, but this shade right here you can see. That I have already used a lot of this product. So, this shade and this shade I am going to mix together. So, this shade is actually called DFD, this one, and with that I am going to mix that bit of E62. Okay. So, how to apply? So, these foundations are extremely creamy. So, what you are going to do is you are just going to take a tad bit of amount, like scoop out a tad bit of amount. I am just out this much okay and just take it in the back of your hand yeah like in same way okay now I am just going to mix these two with my fingers the key to uh, get that flawless blended makeup look with uh, that you have to warm like you have to activate this product with the warmth of your skin okay the more you just warm it up it is just going to give you that very nice creamy and smooth texture and this is going to blend flawlessly okay okay so now my foundation is ready to get applied so i am just going to take it and apply it all over my face my scar as well by the way uh, their uh, derma color range is great 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 for uh, removing your scar like concealing your scar because it has that kind of full coverage now to blend it nicely what i'm going to do is i am going to take this sponge now this is not a wet sponge this is something that you really need to keep in mind if you are working with Kralan cream products. They are extremely creamy. Do not blend them with a wet sponge. If you are going to blend them with wet sponge, it is just going to shift and it's not going to get blended properly. So all you need is a dry sponge and that actually makes your life easier. Because we all know whenever we are uh, making a sponge wet, if it is not a good quality product, it is going to soak up a lot of products, right? But when you are applying it dry, you don't really need to worry about this. So for this foundation, you don't even need to invest a really good quality makeup sponge. Just get a decent one and it will get the job done. You can see how seamlessly it is getting blended and just this gives you a very nice even tone and dewy base you don't really uh, look like that you have applied so much foundation and uh, though it's a creamy product and um, like it might you might feel uh, with the consistency that it is going to feel very heavy on your skin but it doesn't it's just a miracle in such an affordable price i would recommend guys that please just please invest some money in this and for my concealer, what I'm going to do is I am just going to take that same uh, shade which is D62, it's that bit lighter, that's why it's going to work great as my concealer. So 
So now we this is very important step. Do not skip it. Even if you have dry skin, you need to set this uh, foundation with some setting powder. Even for uh, the setting powder, they have a specific setting powder that is called Derma Color. Now this is. Not the full size product. I received it from them as like a sample gift when I was there uh, with my purchase and everything. I'm definitely going to invest after this uh, guy. The, the full size product I think retails for six fifty rupees, and again it's a great powder. And if you are going to use this combination with this one, your makeup is going to last all freaking day, no matter whatever you are doing. I can vouch for that. What I really like about this brand that uh, they have everything in the bigger size and in a uh, smaller size as well. So if you are not looking to invest in something completely new that you are not sure about, so you can always go for the refill pans. So uh, that way you can understand if that product is worth investing or not. I always uh, love brands who actually think it through and comes with two different sizes of packaging. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my whole face. So I'm done setting my face. Now, what next we're going to do is we are going to do our brows. And uh, for this look, I wanted my brows to be very soft, so that's why I'm not going to use any brow pencil. I'm going to take the brow powder from this palette, and this one is from Profusion Cosmetics. So this is the palette he looks, and you, this is actually a complete face palette, so this is great for traveling, by the way. So I am just going to use whoa. So I am just going to take these two shades for my brow, and this is the Faces Canada Eyebrow Brush. It's a great brush, by the way, guys. If you are someone looking for a good eyebrow brush, it comes with a spoolie as well. So go for this one. And my brows are uh, nice and filled. So I'm quickly set it off with some mascara, and uh, for that I am not really using any eyebrow mascara. It's of that I am going in with my Maybelline Total Temptation Eyelash Mascara. Uh, so recently I have actually talked about this product. This product is so sticky. It works great as your eyebrow gel as well. With that we are officially done with our eyes. Moving on to our eyes and the eyes are very much inspired with the Sonam Kapoor Oral. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to line my eyes very quickly with this brown eye brow pencil and the reason I am using this wet and wild uh, eyebrow pencil this one is the color icon brow pencil and I think it's in the shade called brunette to fit better this is a very nice brown uh, eyebrow pencil you guys can see how much I have used it so, considering it being an eyebrow pencil it is very big I actually like using it on my eyelids rather than my brows so what I'm going to do is I am just going to apply it on the uh, eyelid my eyelids a bit more what I am going to do is I am going to take this sugar pole pencil it's a great 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 pole pencil by the way guys it's just so creamy and so black I just love 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 to work with this glide it very uh, gently and going to smudge it with my fingers again I'm not even like smudging, I'm just tapping because it's very pigmented. I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line as well, like lower waterline. I'm going to smudge it with my fingers again. Smudging your lower lash line uh, with your fingers, like very lightly, it actually gives you a very nice and soft look. Plus, it actually makes your pole last longer. We are done with our poles and everything, so we want to set it. That is very important. And for that, what I'm going to do is I am going to take uh, this palette again. This is the uh, Profusion Makeup Palette, and I'm going to take this uh, brown shade. It's a mauveish kind of brown shade. I 
any further, what I'm going to do is I am going to take uh, this shade. This is like a warm uh, yellow shade, warm peach shade, and I am just going to blend it further. This palette is really great. Shadows are very pigmented. To uh, uh, set my lower lash line, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this eyeshadow. This is a black eyeshadow from Kralon again, but you can actually any black eyeshadow of your choice but make sure uh, the black eyeshadow you are using those are not shimmery this is completely matte so I am just going to take uh, that shadow lightly and just tap it off the excess I have just flicked the brush when I am going to uh, reach my lower uh, outer lash line and that way it just gives you a very nice and uh, almond eye shape I just love doing this little trick. You can see like how beautiful and uh, dramatic but still is like looking very soft. And uh, now we are almost done but we need to apply an extra thing on our lids just to make it nice and glossy and shiny because it is festive. Who doesn't like that right? This is a Maybelline Master Pro Highlighter and this is in the shade called Molten Rose Gold. Very nice and pink shade which is not, it has like really chunky glitter so if you are using it on your face, be very careful. I like using it on my eyelids as my eyeshadow rather than on my cheeks, okay? What I'm going to do is I am going to take this nice and fluffy brush. So now I know this is a fluffy blending brush and you're not supposed to use it to use uh, this kind of shadow which you are supposed to or usually pack it on your lids but if you want that bit of sparkle that hint of shimmer you should always go with a fluffy brush that way you can actually control the shimmer okay i'm just going to tap it on my eyelid and you can see how nice and shimmery yet very soft look it is giving and i'm now i'm just going to highlight my brow bone and for that what i'm going to do is i am going to Next, uh, Born to Glow Highlighter Palette. Apply this shade very light handed. Okay, this is a great highlighter palette, by the way, guys. I just love it. With that, we are pretty much done with our eyes. Now, uh, moving on to the lashes. For this look, particularly, I did not wear any lash, but if you want, you can totally throw some lashes and your eyes will look like out of this world. But I did not do it, so I am going to skip my lashes today. What I am just going to do is I am just going to coat them very heavily with mascara. That's it. For my mascara today, I am going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. We are pretty much done with our eyes. That was It was that simple. Now moving on to our uh, face. Now, this is something like really personal to me. If you don't feel like doing it, you can totally skip this step. But what I'm going to do is I am going to contour the heck out of my face right now because I think I have a pretty round face and I do not really like that choppy kind of feeling and just because I have uh, made my hair this sleek it's just going to accentuate that round face shape which I am not at all very fond of so I am going to contour my face very heavily so for my contour what I'm going to do is I am going to take this NYX contour uh, palette highlight and contour pro palette what i'm going to do is i am going to mix these two shades and just going to contour my face i am going to apply a little bit on my forehead as well because i have a huge forehead which again i don't really like and don't skip your hairline like really blend it well to your hairline otherwise it just gives you that kind of gap where your actual skin is peeking through. It doesn't really look good, okay? So don't do that. Moving on to the nose and I am going to take this slanted brush. I use it my for my nose contouring because it just gives me that precision. Again, I am just mixing those two shades and just going to uh, contour my nose. pretty much happy what I am seeing here so uh, now moving on to my blush but for that I am not really going to use any pink blush or anything I am just going to fade this nice harsh kind of bronzer to a nice uh, soft gradient I am going to show what I am talking about so what I'm going to do is I am going to fade this shade use this next uh, Born to 
glow highlighting palette is an amazing 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 highlighter palette and you can actually get uh, this singles as well so that way you will save some money so what i'm going to do is i am going to use this shade here this shade and this shade like i'm going to mix it because those two has very nice golden undertone and it just looks heavenly in this kind of look okay i am taking this stippling brush and just